talent ka George it surpasses it winning what makes him even more talented is the fact that he wants to learn every day bo bo na me in front of 5000 people and George was commanding that stage Like George Longwani, I'm from Krugersdorp, Manzivale. I'm a professional dancer. I was born in Krugersdorp. My mom passed away when I was three years old. I have never met my father before. I was taken away from my biological family when I was four years old and i was taken to a children's home george so utlana le bo 4 years 5 years so botshelo ba ko children's home ha bo tshwane le botshelo ba family so it was my wish gore o ka ra some other parents ba ka ne ba tsa abana ko ko children's home When I was a kid, I was bullied. I didn't have a lot of things that I always wanted. I was the outcast of my friends where I used to live. And dance nearly into the only thing that took me out of everything. It changed my life. Dancing, I started when I was a kid, around nine years old, by the inspiration of Michael Jackson. The Batobako location, like what my pants were like, there's 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 a spirit called Duende. Duende is an unnatural spirit. It's when people get goosebumps or get inspired by something. That's the atmosphere Michael Jackson gave to me. Mapantula brought me actually back to South Africa, where I was born. It was more of a rural thing. They used to do this tick dance that they always used to do, like they pop each and every time they move. When I saw that, I felt like, ha, ah, nobody can do it better than I do it, actually, especially when I see it from the people that I know. Before I actually got introduced to contemporary dance and African contemporary, I was doing ballroom and Latin hip hop and modern dance. I met George at the SOS Village. Um, I went to go and teach them ballroom and Latin. At that time, George was, he was still a bit playful. I think he joined because of the friends that joined. But potential was there because he had interest in dancing. I was bullied because of the I used to do, like dancing, ballroom and Latin, ballet, and all these other type of genres. Kobo it was like, ah, this one is a weakling. He doesn't know anything about life. So, so we pull. In Africans, they used to say, on salam rechrak. Within our society that we come from, usually when you are a dancer and then they, they say you are gay, especially when you are a ballroom and Latin dancer because they say it's for sissies, which I don't believe that at all. They wanted me to follow, to live the lifestyle they loved, which I did not see myself in, about gangsterism, stealing and drug smoking, drinking, going to places that I didn't want to do, banking school and everything. So I decided to create my own life. 
you can see now that it's become more than just that sissy that they thought that he would be. George is a man, he's fine. Whether he's gay or not, he is becoming something in life and he's doing something that he loves. And I wish that people could do that themselves. Kifiti Loko, the dance space in Newtown, where I am a trainee at the Vuyani Dance Theatre. So far, emotion-wise, I am quite nervous for the whole day because we're getting class from Gregory Vuyani Makoma, the CEO of the company. And yeah, follow me. It was an outreach program with Vuyani Dance Company. I went to go watch a performance called Beautiful As Choreographed by Gregory Vuyani Macron. When I saw the guys perform at the Dance Factory, I actually got goosebumps. The doing the spirit got inside of me and I actually got excited. I stood off of my chair and I actually changed my mind that I want to do contemporary. There was an audition for Fuyani Dance Company interns and I went to the, to the interview. It wasn't a one-by-one -one call, it was everybody all together and the weakest would obviously fall out. George Matlai and I, it was three years ago and um, again I already got a group of the students and I. I think one would um find out we turned our cool dance. Obviously, we are going to talent and other than but also the phenomenon to the town to follow into the ends. So all born is here to turn the booty. Or when to us we say the booty and we are going to put dance. So Tina and Jay, it was with some tata, some mentor, some as a show booty. Oba, that level, let's see for now. Talent in a church, it surpasses it being Malinti Lugut Manji. With George, he can do contemporary. He can do street such as cramping. You know, he can do his industrial and ballet technical stuff. He's not just a jack of all trades, master of none, but he's someone who's quite rare. He's a rare breed. I'm busy, a chameleon. He's able to fit in any color. You know, and 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 footy any doings with George and Clambe, Gati, Italian like him, Koga, Kulu, who's Tobawak, Lumfana, he's got amazing humility. When I danced, I moved mountains. I changed dimensions. I moved, I was like the Frank Sinatra in movement. I was like beyond James Brown's level. I felt like mission impossible. Anything is possible for me. I specialize in two genres, which is hip hop and contemporary. But as my everyday training, I do contemporary and Afrofusion, African contemporary in other words. Contemporary dance is more of an emotional dance. Trump is 
more spiritual. It's same thing as contemporary though. It's more of communicating with God for me. I communicate in a way such as I can take off, relieve stress, I can take myself to a happy place. With all these violent, strong movements, all these things, power movements, everything, these punches, everything. A lot of people must stay cramping for, ah, it's a satanic dance. But if you actually get the meaning behind cramp, you'll actually understand what you're doing and what you're doing it for and who you're doing it for. and go to the studio in the morning is the fact that I want to know what's next. I never know, I never know what's going to happen the next second. Am I going to be there or am I not going to be there? So I always want to make sure that the next second that's coming, I'm going to live it like it's my last. I believe if, if you invest as much as you can on what you love, the results and the outcome of it is going to be amazing. It's going to be beyond expectation. I go to studio early. I come there. I exercise on my own early in the morning. I do what I have to do. And then when everybody comes in, and then I start relaxing. Because I know, Jorge, if I'm going to do everything what I have to do, how about the thing? It's going to be distracting when people is going to come to me and greet me and while I'm still busy because I'm trying to focus. He always finds a moment like they'll play music and start improvising and doing things on his own before we start class. That says that he is he's serious in that he wants to be maybe one day a choreographer, creating things of his own. Mo dance nya ha o rata go practice thata le go tsoga pakela montlo mo aetsa o tla ba dance montlo a mponsa mponsa in such a way mo le gore ke bona gore ke so sa sa rata ntota tseleng gore se mo mading a gagwe Development that church it has been an interesting one talentele uthi um gaining focus and being able to be consistent, maintaining you know, the purpose of the day. It was one of the few of the things busy in Shula, For the first six months of 2015, because I didn't put as much as I did in before. I took it lightly and negeta di lo fella because I can dance and just because I have a talent. But then the first six months that I was in Kovuyane, I realized that I have to work for it. No matter what, what if I lose maybe a, a toe and I cannot dance? Well, I still have a talent. Doesn't mean even though I can talk dance, so I'm, but I want to move. So it's gonna, I'm obviously going to be jealous. So I don't want to be jealous. I want to be part of everything. I have grandkids. I was part of their production. But the woman George is more engaged, he's more he's generous, and then he's able to with a sally we task a order. And then that's you know what? I'm gonna fulfill this. So you can see that he he has grown tremendously and massively in terms of you know discipline, consistency. He's no longer scattered. But then we've managed to, to help him to narrow and see the bigger picture. Currently, Kesevet's out on a, a solo piece. I, it doesn't have a name yet, and it's not finished yet. Um, it's about my life story. My life experiences, and how 
it affected me and how it got me to this point in time in my life. Did you kiss it to the park and your tsa? Tsa, you know, this is my uncle, eh? Tsa, personally, tsa, the tsa, slowly but surely, it's growing. The whole, it's I have already a theme and a language to my solo. For me, my solo piece is important because I feel I get like it. I actually face the facts of my life story. I would actually grow to be a better person, and I would move on with my life. So I think we see baby, the wood na ingabi uli kizinga uli lazinga the wood manji anga kubega ati ingeredi for it and some other. Oh, mlambi. So some aspect of the bone wood is singa msiza puti. Already I'm proud of George, just for him even creating a solo piece and also for him having the courage to talk about his life story. For me that's so, it's inspirational because I haven't done that. Abantu abezo bebe buni sumsebe enzo vitan sambrela ilabo, abanesbindi. So with Babi beyond the dancing, but back in create. For my upcoming solo performance, I'm not actually worried. Because I've actually made up my mind that I want to do it. Dance Umbrella is one of the biggest dance festivals in the world. It's an international production. I'm at the market theatre right now where I'm going to present my solo to my rehearsal director and my artistic director. This is to prove that I deserve to be on the stage for Dance Umbrella. Let's kick it. Magona. Stories of a story of Nati, Oti, Ukule, and Apache Wazali. But within all of that, he made it through. He's trying to get over it. I don't think he is at that stage yet, but I think he's just trying to get over it because he needs to appreciate what he has now. I do need a lot of help based on like the length and the storyline going about it and how the audience has to see me. Your projection, invite your audience in. Your presence needs to be felt. Dance with us. Remember, prior learning, such as your cramping, your hip hop, and all that, you can use that to also express your story. And more than anything, have fun. Besides me, Jorge, me, I'll be dancing for Dance Umbrella. It's the fact that I want exposure too. And with that exposure comes hard work, more hard work. George's performance is going to be, it's going to be a stepping stone. It's going to be good. It's going to be beautiful. I think it's going to be very emotional. Um, I'm uncertain of my emotions at the moment because it's my pre preparation for Dance Umbrella. You know, at this moment, all I can say is um, I'm a bit nervous. That's all I can say. If my performance doesn't go well, I'm going to have to take another chance. When you're ready, sir.
George, I would like us to try something. Just to, 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 to find more meat. You know, you've got a skeleton now. Take out your frustration with all these things that you... As much as you're doing all these things, find these things, find these things, find those things, come back to me. So that it becomes a hybrid, a new, you're giving birth to something new, hip hop, contempt, and your story within that. Performance is promising. You know, out of 10, I would give it five. So that means there's another five that you still have to work on. Um, from what we gathered, we believe that there is talent, there is skill, there is dedication. Now we need to be, to pay more attention to detail. Something I just discovered that I can refer back on to what I know with different genres as, as well. I just need to add a little bit, a little bit more, like Latin ballroom I can add. But yeah, I feel good about the new changes. Mmm, the most of dance that go overseas, across the world. Also, most South Africa, I go overseas. Why is that horing ane ane mo vibe? I go horing, I explore. I just wanna live at two banga konte. George in the future, I think he's going to be a remarkable dancer, um, no doubt. I see George as one of the most promising dancers, if not one of the outstanding contemporary dancers in South Africa. If he continues with the love he has for dancing, he is going to go far because he is talented in so many ways. My future for the, in the next five years, I want to see myself international. The feeling that I have over all my achievements is an overcome. Like, okay, it's a turning point.